Shalom, shalom. This is Brother Parya coming back at you with a lesson. All right. This is a. This lesson is go out to the highways and byways. This is go out into the highways and byways and propel our people to come in. So, brothers, you have to go out there and propel them to come in and listen to us. All right. I'm gonna start at James, chapter uh. Chapter two, verse fourteen. And it says, What doeth a profane, my brethren, though a man say he had faith and have not works? Can faith save him? Can, can faith save him? Can he, you know, he had no works, man. You're just sitting there playing games. You know, you got to go out there and propel our people to come in, you know, do the works. All right? And then, um, let me get, uh, let me jump down to 17. It says, even so, faith, if it had not works, it is dead, being alone. You know, you know, you have to have faith. You have to have works. You have to go out there, get our people, propel them to come in, to listen to, to us and listen to the song of the gospel. It says, yea, a man may say, though has faith and have works, show me thy faith without thy works. And I will show thee my faith by my works. Come. That's right. Come. All right. This is Isaiah. No, you know what? Let me get Luke. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. All right. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. So we have to get our people to come in. Propel them to come in. And to listen. All right. <clears throat> It says, it says the Lord, I mean, it says the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach the deliverance to the captives and receiving of sight. I mean, cut, I mean, it's like it. And recovering of of sight to the blind to set a liberty them that are bruised come that's right come you know our people are bruised you know our people are wandering around doing what the heathens are doing not listening to us you got to prepare them to come in to listen all right you have to break this this milk and honey and give them the law, statutes, and commandments. And tell them what the Most High is telling them what they need to do. On their, on their everyday lives. Alright? <laughs> this is Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah chapter 61. Verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, is upon me. Because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings. unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and opening of the of the prisons to them that are bind, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to conform all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes, and oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praises for the spirit of heaviness, that might that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Huh. So, you know, we got to build them up. You know, you know, they're, they're walking around crying, you know, they on the inside, the spirits are crying, being beat down, you know, having to work in the society. You no, know, we, we out there for them. All right. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Mark. It's a Mark. All right. 
All right, this is Mark chapter 1, verse 3. It says, The voice of the Lord, it's like it, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Come, huh. that's our whole point. Making the people's path straight. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter 6. Let's see. In verse... Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright. This is Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see and ask for the old paths. Because we got to get back to our old paths. Got to go out there and prepare our people to come back to the old paths and the law, statutes, and commandments. It says, And see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein. And ye shall find rest. Your souls will find rest. It says, And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, Listen, with, but our people, our people always says this. It says, But they said, we will we will not walk therein. Our people don't never listen to us, man. They never hearken to what we have to say. They don't want to hear these law statutes and commandments. They always say we speaking evil things. But hold on, the Bible says our people will talk evil about us. Right? You know? They need to come back to the law statutes and commandments, man. Alright? It says also I said watchmen over you saying Hearken to the sound of the trumpet, but they said we will not hearken. Our people, like I said, they don't never hearken to anything we have to say. They say, Oh, we got better things to do. Hey, you know, you, you won't be saying that when you get destroyed. All right, this is Jeremiah. No, no, it's like yeah. This is Amos chapter 5. Amos to the five. All right. Amos to the five, verse uh, 16. It says, Therefore the Lord, God of hosts, the Lord saith thus, Willing shall be in all the streets, and they shall say in all the highways, Alas, alas. And they shall call the husband, ha, ha, uh, husband, to mourning, and such as uh, scoffful of lamentation to willing. Come, so they're gonna be, they're gonna be when when the when their Lord gets here, they're gonna be willing to come in then, all right, but the Lord's not gonna hear them, all right, um. Uh, this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Chapter 31, verse 21. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 21. Let's see what this account is. Jeremiah chapter 21. It says, Set thee up, up waymarks, make thee high hips, set thine heart towards the highway, even the way which ye thou wist, wist it. turn again, O virgin of Israel, turn again to those that thy cities. Come. So you gotta set that way to the highway, man. They gotta come, they gotta they gotta listen to us, man. You know, it's a good thing to listen to us when we're out there in the highways and byways. We're out there for you, Yasha Allah. We're out there for you. Alright? You don't wanna be caught caught out there, man. And get destroyed. Lord Lord can come back anytime. Alright? Alright, this is um, Isaiah 
chapter uh yeah Isaiah chapter uh sixty two verse ten it says go through go through the gates prepare ye the way of the people cast up cast up the highway gather out the stones lift up a standard for the people come huh. so. What's what we out there for? We lifting up the standard. You know, we're proclaiming to our people. Trying to get them to come back. Propel, propel them to come back. To get this milk. This this, this laws, that and commandments. From the most high. Alright. This is, uh, this, uh. Let's get Isaiah chapter 62. Verse 6. Because this is what we are says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. We're not going to keep silent when we're out there. We're going out there to proclaim the Lord. We're going to go out there and grab our people. That's all we, we're, we're here for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Man, woman, and child. All right, all right. Let's get that. Uh, let's get that. Luke. Luke chapter. Let's see. Luke chapter sixteen. Let's see. Oh, I know. Luke chapter uh, fourteen, verse twenty-three. It says, "And the Lord said unto the servant." Go out into the highways and hedges and pro propel them to come in that my house may be filled. So the Lord is saying, propel our people to come in. Propel our people to come in to listen to this law, that's just commandments. I mean, what do I look like just sitting down, eating pizza, you know, playing games? You know, not going out there in the highways and byways. I'll get destroyed. Look, 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 hold on. Let's get that, uh, let's get, let's get that account, man. You gotta watch the ant, man. The ants don't, the ants don't sit around and play games and sit there and just look around. Let's get this account. We'll get back on point. All right. Um, <clears throat> you know, you don't want to be a slugger. You don't want to be sitting down, not going out there in the highways and byways and, and getting our people. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6. It says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise. You know, you got to go out there in the highways and byways. You can't be in a house playing Tekken, playing Madden, playing whatever the hell you playing, playing a bunch of damn games. You got to go out there in the highways and byways. It says, Which having no guide, overseer, or ruler, Con. You know what? Like, look, it says, which having no guide, overseer, or ruler. The ant works, man. They stack each other up just to get to their food, man. You don't see them, an ant, you know, like, well, today, man, uh, I don't know if I want to work today, man. No, man. He, he can't be part of the colony. He's, look, look at this, man. <clears throat> this is uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 10. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. You don't want to be sleeping, man. Being a, 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 a little slug. It says, let's, get, let's, get, let's go back, let's go to 9. It says, how long wilt? Thou sleep, O sluggard, when it says, When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? You gotta come out of this damn sleep, man. You know, you, you're not going out to the highways and byways, you're sleeping around, playing games. You need to come, look, you gotta have to come up out of that, man. You know, our people, Israel, like, you go, you gotta go out to the highways and byways and get, get our people, man. You look, you're not, you can't be a computer. Israelite man. 
All right, this is Matthew. This is the last one. This is Matthew chapter 22, and verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid them to the marriage. That means bid them to the marriage. Bid what they mean is what they mean by bid them to the marriage. Bid them to the to the marriage of the most high. They gotta be bid to the marriage, man. Come back to the most high. Yasha Allah has to come back to the most high. Alright? And with that being said, I'm gonna say, Yah, call Halam Yahawa, Bahashim Yashai. Call Halam Yahawa, Bahashim Yashai, Barakatham. Abanawa Yahawa, Bahashim Yashai, Barakatham. Shalom Yashallah. Kwam Yashallah. Shalom.